Hi, my name is Kelly Jones. It's my pleasure to get to introduce myself to you today and to offer a very warm welcome to the Inspiration Television Network. I'm coming to you from Carrollton, Georgia, which is a little bit outside of Atlanta. I've been a resident here for quite a while, having met and married my precious husband about 28 years ago this December. And we are the proud parents of two amazing, wonderful grown girls and one son-in-law and possibly one more on the way. We sure hope so. Y'all, my background is in nursing. I worked as a registered nurse for a long time before I transitioned into a second career as a public high school teacher. And I was blessed to get to teach um, in a wonderful school system for 17 years. And just this past year, took an early retirement. And I just knew that it was time for the next part of the story, the next chapter in life. And this is actually part of that chapter and I'm just gonna be more excited about it. So what I'll be sharing with you through our network is a wonderful program called I Do Again. I believe in the holiness and the sanctity of marriage. I believe that it is God ordained. I believe that the Lord uses marriage to mirror his relationship with us. We are the bride of Christ. And through this ordained relationship of marriage, we find very often quite a bit of growth and sanctification that takes place throughout that union. No joke, y'all, marriage is hard work. It's wonderful but it is a lot of work at the same time. And so what we're going to be doing in our particular program here on ITN is we are going to celebrate marriages of long-standing history. And we're going to talk to these couples and ask them, what was it? What made you stay? And if you didn't stay, what made you come back? These stories are going to be life changing and so encouraging for all of us. And I can't wait for it to begin. We're looking forward to starting very, very soon. And as you know, the launch for ITN is going to happen around November 15th. And that's just a little bit ahead of Thanksgiving. And so I just wanted to share a word of encouragement for you in regard to the holidays because holidays can be hard. They can be wonderful and they can be hard all at the same time. And I just wanted to remind you that it is the enemy of your soul who says that he comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But our Heavenly Father, through the presence of Jesus Christ, has come to give us life to the full that we might live abundantly and in good health and in good communication habits and great relationships here. And so what I want to do is just to encourage you that if you find yourself in a season where these upcoming holidays might have a little more challenge than before, they might be a little bit more difficult, I just want you to lean in, lean in hard, into the arms of your heavenly father and allow him to be the one that quiets your soul, that fills your spirit, that gives you his enabling grace and his sustaining grace to be present and to embrace your family in whatever form or fashion that may be, but knowing that your strength in it all truly does come from your abiding, the abiding presence of the Holy Spirit and your relationship with the Lord. And so as we move toward the holidays, I pray that they find you in excellent health and in joyful relationships. And I cannot wait for you to join me as our programming begins very soon for our program called I Do Again. And until then, I pray that you are blessed. I look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you.